That's the old Hovis bread factory, which has now been turned into flats. After a couple of unsuccessful attempts at getting the boat into the side just outside Bollington, uh, the canal's so shallow there, uh, we couldn't get the boat in within two feet of the bank. Uh, we've managed to come out about a mile outside Bollington into a gorgeous spot again. And uh, we've got a, a winding hole right behind us so we can reverse and turn around and head back into Bollington for water when we need it and there's nobody about. It's fantastic, it's gorgeous. I cannot believe the temperature today. It's got to be low 20s, 23 degrees, something like that is really warm. So we're gonna have us a bit of lunch and uh, go for a walk. One of the disadvantages of having an asphalt surface for a towpath is this. She's a ghost of a dog, aren't you, Jessie? Look at the state of you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Floating Our Boat. Uh, first of all, we've got to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribes. We've had so many new subscribers in this last month or two. It's amazing. It's been fantastic. So yeah. thanks very much. Keep subscribing. Keep giving us a thumbs up. And uh, big, big. Thank you also to all our patrons out there. Uh, it makes such a difference to us, doesn't it? It does really it's... makes a big difference. It enables us to keep going doing this. Um, we've had patrons through Patreon and also through PayPal. So thank you very much. 
and one-off payments a couple of one-off payments from people that just to help us out in these difficult times yeah. but obviously we know it's difficult for everybody at the moment so we don't expect anything but what you do send is really really you know gratefully received thank you so i was just reaching around for my uh floating our boat mug <laughs> <laughs> plug plug which is available in the uh links below <laughs> cheers Ooh, cheers so uh, we are here in Bollington. We moved here. We've been here, what, nearly a week now, have we? Yeah, we had to move on for water. and We had a choice of either getting our water and going back to where we'd come from or moving forward a little bit. And the distance really wasn't much difference, was it? Um, so we moved up, couldn't find anywhere in Bollington itself to moor. The, the sides are quite shallow, aren't they? Yeah. There's not a lot of moorings there. So we've come about a mile out. And it's a brilliant place because there's um, a good footpath, good towpath, path, yeah. but also just the other side of this little field next to us is the Middlewood Way, mm -hmm. is it? Which is um, an old railway line which has been changed to a footpath and a cycle path, which means a lot of the fast traffic is on there. And our, foot, our towpath here is reasonably quiet. And also we've got a great little cut into town, haven't we? And where have you just been? I've got the bike out <laughs> so I can cycle in and out of town and get a bit more exercise. The foot's still playing up so I'm not walking as much as I'd like so I'm on the bike. So I uh, got my shopping list this morning from Fran, cycled in, got the shopping, waited for 15 minutes to get into the shop, got the shopping, got to the till, no payment card. So <laughs> to cycle all Thank the way back. I think you could write a, a book about your cycling adventures. Every, every time you get the bike out, something goes wrong, doesn't it? But anyway, it is a lovely spot. We seem to fall on our feet all the time when we find our mooring spots, don't we? Um, it's good. It's you know, reasonably quiet, except for our little feathered friend. Oh, man. <laughs> Cute clip. <laughs> When we first moored up here, bird song is amazing. And we thought, oh wow, listen, a song thrush. You don't often hear them that close. But this dude rocks up at about four or five in the morning. Keeps going till 11 or 12, lunchtime. Goes away for a, an hour or two and then comes back and it's now about 2.30 in the afternoon and he's been going almost non-stop for two hours and the novelty is wearing off <laughs> it has to be said it's a great alarm clock it's torture, it really is <laughs> No, no, no. Anyway. We are, we're stuck here now on this canal. Well, the uh, Canal and River Trust have closed the locks behind us for the foreseeable future and also the locks at Marple ahead of us for the foreseeable future. <laughs> so we've got approximately, I don't know, 20, 22 miles of canal. That's with... including the Peak Forest yeah. Canal, which we can still get onto, but that's it. We that's can't it. go anywhere yeah. else. And uh, they're citing that uh, lack of water well we had a, such a wet winter and spring anyway. it's all linked to the Todbrook reservoir problem the Todbrook reservoir used to feed this canal um, and there is another source as well and apparently the is it called a culvert mm, the culvert the underneath the road that feeds the canal is blocked which means there's no water coming into this canal at all and it means a road has got to be dug up to fix it so we we think we could be stuck here all summer even once the lift the restrictions yeah. from the, the virus have lifted we might still be stuck at the moment it doesn't matter does it because we can't go anywhere anyway so we're having to make the best of it but having said that if we are stuck here all all year there's so much to see and do on the peak forest canal and the, the walks and the hills and the towns and the villages it's a beautiful stretch of canal and we'll just spend more time walking and talking about the things around us. We shot through there before and we were in a little bit of a hurry last year when we did this and so didn't explore enough. 
but we've learned um, now not to try and battle about things and not to stress about stuff that you've got no control over if this is how it is we'll just uh, change the way we do things a little bit it is what it is as the, <laughs> as the youth he today hates that. say you hate <laughs> that don't you <laughs> one of his pet yeah, hates hate. but... so yeah we're, we're quite happy just to stay here for as long as it takes we're also in a little bit of a, a stuck position with the house sale at the moment. Um, we have got a buyer for our house. The chain is complete. Everything is ready to go, but obviously solicitors are not working or they're working from home and it's limited. And we're waiting for one more bank survey to be done from one of the buyers. And so we're that far from having the house sold. Um, and it's been a long, long while. We really need it to happen quickly now. But again, there is nothing we can do about it. We've just got to sit back and hope, fingers crossed, that nobody drops out because of the yeah. delays now. So we're on a tenter hooks a little bit, but... But guess what? It is what it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, it? So, yeah, so hopefully... Um, oh, it's just, just, just been a nightmare selling this house and... Uh, Unfortunately, we can't afford to keep it, so it is having to be sold. Yes. But we do want to find a smaller property. Um, we've been looking in uh, small villages in Yorkshire and also around this part of the world, North Cheshire and Lancashire as well. But we can't do so, anything until it's... We're just no. going to wait now and not even worry about it until it's sold. Um, we'll say we have been doing some work, haven't we? Yeah, so uh, feeling a lot better than I have been, obviously, and uh, found the energy to start painting the roof. Well, we've prepped the roof, put it that way. We're just about to start uh, with the primer and the undercoat, etc. And the weather's changed for the worse again. It's a bit. Well, it's not. It's nice. It's lovely weather, but it's showery, isn't yeah. it? And uh, you yeah. can't paint when it's threatening raining. So we started. We got the bit between our teeth, didn't we? I and, mean, so um, many people have been using their time to get all their jobs done and everything done. I mean, actually, in a funny way, we've sort of been enjoying the time and we've still been doing just our reading and yeah. <laughs> stuff that we normally do. But it, it would be silly not to get some work done on the boat in case restrictions are suddenly lifted because we're just going to want to cruise, aren't we? If everything mm. is lifted and these locks open, we're just going to want to go. We're not going to want to sit around for days painting. So we're silly if we don't do it now, but we have started at least. Yeah, the outside, that is. Yes. Well, right. that's about it, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit of footage for you of our journey here. It's obviously not a lot because we couldn't travel that far. Um, a little bit of the surrounding areas. I hope you like it. Uh, Bollington is a great place to be. In fact, we have found that the, some of the shops in the town is open. Oh, There's right, a, yeah. a fantastic baker in the town. We've not been in there because we just assumed everything was shut. But we understand from Colbo Alton that um, the pie shop is open. Apparently they were all at Bollington Wolf having a pie eating competition the other day. Socially distant from each other. So I think we'll have to go and try their pies out. See, the thing about being vegetarian is we've yet to find a pie, haven't we, that we really, yeah. really like. And uh, there was nothing better than I used to love uh, a steak and kidney pie or a chicken and mushroom pie or even a pork pie. Oh, man. Oh, I, I don't those. know. <laughs> you're, not, you're missing out the proper pies, which were pie and mash pies. Oh, here we go. And green liquor. It's a London thing. Oh, Cock -cockany thing. it's anybody that's had pie and mash that's a Londoner will know what I'm talking I about. I do like, I, much, I must admit, pie and mash is, is good. Yeah. <laughs> but it's them jelly deals I don't go for. Anyway, I guess it's going to be some sort of mushroom cauliflower sweet potato pie if oh, we get up there, potato. cheese and onion. <laughs> I don't do sweet potato. You can have a meat pie if you want one one day. I'm going to have a meat pie. Well, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Thank you. Give thanks. us a thumbs up. And press the bell if you want to watch more of this next time a video is out. Um, we're trying to keep them interesting, doing our best, you know, and thank you for sticking with us. And hopefully we'll get a little bit more travelling done soon. And follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all at Floating Our Boat. Thanks again. Cheers. Thanks See for you watching. Later. Bye. Bye.